Hi, Adam Beerman, Princeton TV. You can say your name because I always mess up names. I'm Amanda Burse. Yes, and we know who you are because, first of all, Fright Night's one of my favorite movies. I, I watched the remake because I had to, but I still like the original one. Well, the remake is, uh, Kristen Randon put it so succinctly, it's more of a reimagining because it didn't really have a relationship, a bearing on the, the first one. Right, right, but The right. first one is, it's a part of that 80s culture and that kitschiness. So it's very hard to capture that, you know, in the current times. The only, the only production I know of is Stranger Things because they oh, right, really right. are able to sort of get that 80s vibe. Right, right. But that's very much about... Uh, the original Fright Night, right. yeah. But it was still scary, too, and you love, you love the characters. And well, it, it was a, a really great script, and Tom Holland loved the genre, and he didn't make fun of it. He didn't parody it. He embraced it, and then he created, you know, a wonderful story with real three-dimensional characters, a lot of humor, um, a lot of heartfelt stuff. Roddy McDowell's character was, was, great. was so genuine, yeah. absolutely. So it was a sort of well-rounded, film, but you're absolutely right. Back in the day, it was state-of-the-art, uh, special effects, Richard Edlund's group, and you know, all practical. You know, no CGI back then. No, it holds up today, though. It does hold up today. I remember Evil. You won't be alone again, Evil, whatever they, they, they yeah. run. Yeah. What if everyone wants to know about the TV series, Married with Children. Yeah. One is, are you as funny as you um, when you act as you are in real life? Is that an extension um, of you? I like to have a good time in real life. I'm not a writer, mm -hmm. so I may not have the the, 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 the clever quips and the lines, yes. Um, and the, it was a show that, again, there was so much written on the page that we could bring to life. Mm -hmm. um, but that show also gave me my second career as a director. So I, I sort of shut the door to my acting career. When that show ended, I had directed in and around six seasons of Married with Children. And so I just stayed behind the camera for, oh my gosh, well over 25 years now. Is being a director in some ways more, I know it's difficult, but more predictable? Being an actor, an actress in Hollywood can be very, should I say, you don't know, what, you have to tolerate ambiguity. You don't know when the jobs are going to come and everything. It's the same as a director. Oh, really? You're, oh. you're for hire, unless you develop your own show or film, um, and you negotiate that for yourself. But it, it is sort of waiting for the phone to ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up next for you? Well, I directed my first off-Broadway play that's running now at City Center Stage 2 in New York and that was a, a marvelous experience. I never thought that would happen and uh, it's running through April 8th. Uh, Haley Mills, who is a beloved actress from, from, yes, yeah. from the 60s and 70s, she's the star and it was a dream to work with her and the whole cast. So. She's the original Parent Trap? Or exactly. Exactly, exactly. She won a, a, an Oscar back when they gave juvenile Oscars for the role of Pollyanna, and she was in Tiger Bay, and um, uh, my favorite was Summer Magic, but what, yes. What website can they go to to, to watch your off-Broadway play or anything else about you, Amanda? Any, any website or any links? Um, no, I'm not the best in social media, honestly, but go see Party Face. It's a, it's a really, it's written by an Irish female playwright, starring five very strong Irish female characters, and then a female director. So it was a really magical experience on that, in that regard, and doesn't happen very often in Hollywood land or even New York. So. Well, congratulations on your second career, but you're going to live on forever. Oh, wow! Thank you. You're welcome. I guess it's sort of vampire, right? Yeah.